Okay. You are Miracle and Prodigy, and dear, his wife said, you are first to find wonders. But even poor sign wonders you cannot drive. But boys and wonders should never be allowed to drive. Ever. <gasps> Mercy sighed. She was glad the ride was over. She felt a tiny bit dizzy on a little bit of day. She wanted very much to go home. Okay. Well, Mercy's okay, right? Yeah. But I don't think she wants to drive again, right? She yeah. knows what happened, but she shouldn't drive, right? She yeah. doesn't know how. Okay? Eugenia Lincoln and Mrs. Watson stood together on Watson's front porch. They watched a police car pull into drive. Mr. Watson and Mercy and Baby Lincoln were all in the back seat. So now they're coming home, right? But they're coming back with the police car. Yeah. Okay? As yeah. I suspected, this one. As I suspected, Sajina, trouble falling and the pig is right in the middle of it. Oh, Sam, Mrs. Watson, my darling, my dear. To add to the police car. I'm so glad that you are home. The toes were starting to get cold. Mrs. Watson, baby, you can call the after car. We have something of adventure, Mrs. Watson said. Mrs. Watson said. Yes, sir, baby. We had an adventure, sister. Folly, the pig, by the Nikki. This great baby, Nikki, happy folly. Laws have been broken, so I said to Mario. Pig, so Eugenia, excuse me, so I said to Mario. It's all the pig's fault. So Eugenia! <laughs> so when the officer, it's like, laws have been broken, and then what did Eugenia do? She pointed at Mercy, right? Yeah. Saying it's her fault. Yeah. Okay. Mercy climbed out. After God, she put her nose up in the air. She said, could be, yes, it was, toast. Toast was pretty a butter on. What could be better? Huh? Well, now Mercy has got out of the car and she's smelling the toast, right? Yeah. With lots and lots of butter, the way she likes it. Okay? Laws have been broken, said so Officer Tomilio. Tickets have been right. Officer, do you like toast? Mrs. Watson asked. Toast, said Officer Tomilio. Do I like toast? Why? Well, yes, I do. I do like toast. Why don't you come inside and have some, said Mrs. Watson. Why did I come inside a house of toast? Hmm, so I said to Maria, I can't think of a reason not to. Oh, it's Miss Watson. She cut her hands together right this way. What nonsense, come to Jimmy Lincoln. Toast is not the answer. No! Says the said baby Lincoln, but it does smell heavily. They took hold of Eugene's hands. Well, said Eugene, it has been expertly buttered. And so that Saturday, Officer Tamilia, Eugenia Lincoln, and Baby Lincoln, and Mr. and Mrs. Watson and Mercy Watson all sat around the table together and ate hot butter toast. Did Mr. Did Mercy Watson have extra helping? She did. And so did Officer Tamilia. So they all went inside, right, and had butter toast? Yeah. And then they had extra servings. Do you like butter toast, David? Yeah. Do you like it also with lots of butter? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. That was it, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try to read one more book and then you can take a break. Coast Guard is waiting at the curb in his orange vest that catches the sun. How's, how's my girl? She, uh, he asked. I will show him the bounce back as she gets it. 
on the board that is just not the British not back I see. He just the drawings. He's trying to get over from our brain spread, I tell him. Mm -hmm. So the passing card is waiting, right? Mm -hmm. Saying, how are you? And then she showed her the lunch bag that she sewed, right? Yeah. Okay. So your lunch matches your bag. Great. A minor slight in New York. Laura and Allison joins us at the curb. How many more minutes until the bell? Ray, Allison asks. Ray glanks, glances at his wristwatch. You got about three minutes today, girls. Then he walks into the intersection and pulls out his arm so we can cross. I'd rather stay with Ray than go on to the fourth grade plate where Laura and Allison stand so close that there's no space left for me. Hey, what is that? Laura asked, noticing my back. A lunch bag, I said. Homemade, Alice asked. I not. She looks at Laura. Her eyes met. So now she's going to school, right, with her friends, yeah. Laura and Allison, yeah. right? They yeah. see her lunch bag. The lunch bag is right here, right? Yeah. Okay, just read a little bit at a time, okay? I know it's a little bit um more to read. But just read one paragraph at a time. So read this We paragraph. start off with work out we Miss Simon's right arm on the board. Pajamas. In Laura's hand, she's up before Miss Simon. I didn't finish the last letter. She knows more words than the rest of us. Huh? So they're reading perseverance, right? That's yeah. the word. Yeah. It's when you don't give up. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Can someone give us an example of perseverance? They see racist on here. Like when I learned to play basketball, she asked Mrs. Simon tell us to write a paragraph about a time that we were persevering. Laura starts right away. I don't know how she thinks of ideas so fast. I stare at the blank paper. Then I see my lunch bag that's on top of my books. That gives me an idea. So their teacher is telling them to write about how they persevere, right? Yeah. The situation where they didn't give up. Okay, so she write Anna away, and making a lunch bag. You skip a line, and then what does she write? Read this. Making a lunch bag is not as easy as it does. First, I cut my fingers too, because I forget about the thing. Then I cut it again, make it bigger, but I saw the casing backwards. Allison glances at my paper. She leans over and says, Persevering has to be something that takes a really long time. She shows me her time. Learning to write a tool. The blood rushes to my cheek. Writing about making a lunch bag is stupid, but it's too late to start over. I don't think Mrs. Simon will understand what I'm talking about, especially if she doesn't know how to sew. I glance at the clock. Time is going by, and I've only written a few sentences. I picked up my pen and write. What is she write? When I finally thought my lunch bag was not, I couldn't figure out how much I get disruption through the casting. When I reread my sentences, says, I don't I wrote through wrong because I could, it should be through the one I raised it. My paper is a mess. Why? This time I asked if I want to read the paper out loud. Austin raises her hand. When I was in first grade, I got a two weeder. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So she messed up, right? She spelled some stuff wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's my thing. A little bit hard to... Okay, no. Okay, we'll just read another book when you're back. I think this is a little bit hard for me to read. Okay, take a five-minute break and come back, okay? Yeah.
Yeah, it's fair to you. Just relax, okay? Yeah. Finish eating. We'll, we'll read in five minutes. I'm going to go to the
Kohl's made it really convenient because I was able to get all of the cardigans, all of the basics. <laughs>
It's, it's, it's time. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Can you see the buttons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's read this first. Now what? Unicorn sink. Noel and really awesome. Okay, I think it's one day. When Norwell was out for a he found himself in new waters. Wow, what are you? Me, I'm Norwell. The Norwell. A oh, Norwell? Yeah! You didn't go up to sea. Are you real? Let's have a check. Are you? Am I what? Real. Yeah, I'm a Jeffish. Jeffish. <laughs> that sounds funny. So, Jenny Fish and then a unicorn escape, right? Yeah. Unicorn escape. You've never heard of a jellyfish? Nope, you don't look like any fish I've ever seen. They do look kind of jelly, jellyish. They sure have an ama amazing imagination. I can't believe this. The thing I'm imagining is imagining that it is imagining me. <laughs> okay. Prove it. Prove it. Prove what? Prove you are real? Can you prove that you are real? Steve. Oh, hee hee, that tickles. But it still doesn't prove you're real. I could be imagining that tickles. I could imagine anything. Yep, pretty much. Okay, take this part. Look, things like you don't exist, I mean, what is that? Yeah, whore. It is actually more of a tusk tooth. Then why is it coming out of her forehead? Because I'm awesome like that. It's pretty awesome, thanks. Hey, I know what you are, a jellyfish. Well, I wanna, I wanna and the rest right, of your friend. Where are friends? Surfing, cool. Well, you might not be real, but I think you'll be a real good friend. Want to go waffles? Um, sure. No, no, no. Narwhals long for like two can reach up to three meters, ten feet long. I brush every day. Wow, how amazing. Narwhals can weigh how much? How many? How much can they weigh? Mm, One sixty zero kg. Three thousand five hundred pounds. And hold your breath for 25 minutes. It's pretty amazing, right? Yeah. The record dive depth for a Norwell is 1,800 meters. Recent, recent research suggests Norwells can live up to how many years? Oh, yeah, uh, uh, 90 years. Uh huh. Okay, and then more fun facts. There are nearly 4,000 types of jellyfish in the world. Whoa, I wonder what kind. That's awesome. Not to be confused with a snack. And then what is A group of dressers is called a smack. Uh, have been around for minutes of years, but for dinosaurs. This thing from some dressers can be deadly for humans. The dead ones are found mainly in Australia. Now I was powered off awesomeness. Okay, keep reading. Okay, Why are you looking onto that rock? A whole jelly I'm looking for my paw. My paw? Yeah? I read on the net. Okay. That dark city travel goes car fast. I seem to be missing mine, so I'm looking for it. Well, I'm not sure if I know part about here. You are the only night I've ever seen? In that case, I guess I'll make a paw. Well, so she's, um, uh, unicorn's trying to find a pot, right? Yeah. Make a pot? Sure. I know just who I want to try. Sure. This is going to be a pot test. Aqua shark. What's up, Norway? Making a pod. Want to join? Want to ring this part? Ring this part. Just put this on. Norway. A whole turtle won't be our far pod turtle. Mm -hmm. So now the turtle's going to be part of the pod, right? Come be in our uh -huh. pod, Mr. Blowfish. Okay. Okay, so now they have what? Shark, the turtle, the blowfish, and jellyfish, right? Yeah, yeah. Octopus recording is made, so it's our fault. You should join it. Oh yeah? 
Tentacular. Right. So that whole muscle is left out in that little pot. Is tentacular. Huh? What, what Octopus. Okay. Octopus. Octopus. Oh. Okay. No, aren't you going to ask me to join? Oh, I didn't ask. I guess I thought we were making the pot together. You didn't want to be right that pot, right, Jay? How oh, about? Well. What? Really sure. the, what does the pot do exactly? I'm not really sure. But I imagine a pot based on McCann Ball is a first face crime and has, awesome, has super awesome parties. I do love parties. Fantastic. I am Nora. Clap, clap, clap. I have to Nora. Clap, clap, clap. Like parties. I like waffles because I am a Nora. Clap, clap, clap. I happy to Nora. Clap, clap, clap. Okay. Nora. Nora and the best book ever. Ahoy, Norwell. What are you reading? My favorite book in the whole wide world. Probably the best thing in the Oh, can I see? Sure thing. Uh, no, well, this book is blank. It's an imagination book, Jelly. You've got to pretend. Um, okay, yeah, I'm not saying anything. I've got an idea. Anyways, the first. First, close your eyes. Now what? Now think about one of our favorite things in the world. And you picture of it in your head. Yeah, waffle. And you think about a robot. Picture a giant angry robot. I still have angry robots. The thing, that offer is complimented. Look at the book and see a picture of it by the robot. You are a toast robot full. Swiss snap. Girl, thump. Another imagining a robot. Okay, that's what I got the idea. The waffles should have a sidekick, a strawberry, and one jelly. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, that's what I got the idea. I gotta know that well, this book is the best. It can be about anything you want it to be. Turn the page. I want to see what happens next. Mm. Okay, so what happens? Okay. It says, Smokey, you look funny. See, monkeys are funny. They tell very great jokes. Why well, say it's a face them because they're eight nine. Happy to have now. I want to start not to be when you see monkeys around. Now well, they may see monkeys, right? Yeah, yes. Can I borrow this book? Sure thing. Just don't, don't get the pages wet. Yeah. Nice, Ryder and the pups are getting ready for a trip on Paw Patrol. They will visit their friend Jake. Mm -hmm. The team mm -hmm. rolls all the trucks onto the Paw Patrol. They're ready to go. Mm -hmm. okay. Jake, Jake calls from the ice fields. He can't wait for his friends to get there. Uh oh, Jake says on ice, he dropped his pack and a phone. Oh, so Jake is stuck here, right? Yeah. And then he just dropped his phone. Yeah. Nice. The husky pup okay. named Everest to grab Jake so he does his phone into an icy river. Okay. So now he got safe because the husky puppy grabbed him, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Everest wants to get to, to her igloo before a storm rolls in. And the fast way to travel is to side like a penguin. For Sherry, the Paw Patrol reaches the ice fields. He found Jake's pack. So now the Paw Patrol is here to save Jake, right? Yeah. They're trying to find his track. Oh, right. oh, come on. Sacrifice. Oh, the fuzzy. That's for Jake. This pup's got to fly. Jake and Edward cross the ice bridge. Crackle, crackle. Okay. Crack starts to break. As the ice bridge breaks, Sky saves Jake, but her rescue rope snaps. 
Oh, she's trying to save the light. Yeah. The rope snapped. Yeah. Ever scratch safety and push into safety. Right it makes errors a path or the proper trap. Out of here. Wait for Everest. Oh, I guess that's it. Okay. 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 We have about 20 minutes. Okay. Can you stop the share? Do you want to play on your computer? Then you can share my screen? No. Let's play me off feet. I know. Do you want to play with your computer? And then you share the screen? No. Okay. I'll use my computer. Hold on. You don't need a You see the mouth Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bye. Oh, 
Now they're out of the jail to pay doctor's fee. 